keep the frame in one hand, then I'm going to give you the picture. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. One scripture, one passage of scripture is going to serve as our frame. Mm -hmm. The next passage of scripture or the next scripture is going to be the picture. Mm -hmm. Just like when you have a beautiful picture and you need to put it in the frame, yeah. I'm going to give you those two things separately. But my, the goal of my preaching is I'm going to put the picture inside of the frame. Right, so I'm going to give you the frame and you're going to keep it in one hand. Yeah. You're going to get the picture in the other hand. It may not seem like they go together and some of you may get it when I read it. But as I preach this sermon, we're going to put the picture inside of the frame. Right. Let's stand. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. Chapter number 10, verse number 3. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians, chapter number 10, verse number 3 through 6. Look at the reading of God's word. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. 2 Corinthians 10, Forward. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to pulling down of strongholds. Somebody shout strongholds. Stronghold. Say it again, strongholds. Stronghold. Say it one more time, strongholds. Stronghold. Casting down imagination. And every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity and result to the obedience of Christ. Yeah. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. That is the frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me give you the picture. Mm -hmm. Joshua chapter number 6, verse number 1. Now Jericho was strictly shut up because of the children of Israel. No one went out and no one came in. That's the picture. I want to talk about for the next few minutes the destruction of strongholds. The destruction of strongholds. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your anointing. Yeah. Have your way in this place. Help me to preach this word with clarity, boldness, and understanding. We thank you for what you're going to do in advance. We give you the honor, praise, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah. The destruction of strongholds. Don't keep it. You may be seated. In the words of Marvin Gaye, uh -huh. what's going on? <laughs> World leaders are resigning from office. Yes. People believe that our economy is on the brink of collapsing. Mm -hmm. There is a new variant of COVID 19 mm -hmm. yeah. spreading rapidly throughout our land. Yes. Now, cases of monkeypox mm -hmm. are being reported in Georgia. Right. The water supply in some cities in America yeah. is polluted. That's right. mm -hmm. Every time I turn on the news, I hear of a shooting mm -hmm. in a school, yes. store, mm -hmm. or even in a home. Yes. 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 Sadly to say, now you're not safe anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would think you would be safe in church. Mm -hmm. But now you have to carry guns to church. Mm -hmm. Because you're not safe Amen. anywhere. Amen. People are dying of all types of diseases. Amen. Sadly to say, many people are giving up on their faith mm. in Jesus. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Not God, not God. I tell you what's going on. <laughs> we are in 
the middle of a very intense war. Yes, yes. Oh, you gotta say that now. This battle cannot be fought with guns, yes, right. bullets, Say that. Say that. or money. Say that. Because the enemy that we are fighting, you cannot see with the human eye. Amen. Not to get too far ahead of myself, but my brothers and my sisters, I need you to put on the whole armor of God. So you may be so that you may be able to withstand when all hell breaks loose in your life. Soldiers of God's armor. You say you're a soldier in the armor of the Lord. Let me tell you what you need to do. You need to gird your weights with truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Shine your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and sword of the spirit. It's time to fight. You fight on. You fight on. Keep your sword in your hand. You fight on. Oh, it's time to fight. This war is too intense for you to sit down and let the devil do whatever he wants to do. We are in the middle of a war. And this thing is spiritual. This is spiritual warfare. Let me deal with the frame a little bit. Then you understand it better. Bye bye. I read 2 Corinthians chapter number 10, verses 3 through 6 from the King James Version, but for a clear understanding, let's read it from the Common English Version. Just verse number 3, those in Jones, can you read that for me? You know, the King James Version says, go back to the King James Version so they can follow me. To verse number 3, then we'll hop back there. Uh, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Let's get a better understanding of this scripture. Let's go to the common English Bible. So, Sister Jackie Elder Jones. Although we live in the world, we don't fight our battles with human methods. Mm. Although I am in the flesh, mm -hmm. I live in the world, mm -hmm. I do not fight Come on. <laughs> with human methods. Yes. Amen. I don't use fleshly things yes. to fight a spiritual battle. Yes. Yes. I'm going to take my time so you can get yes. it. Yes. Some people who are in a financial hardship think that if they can only get a second job, uh -huh. that they can get out of their financial crisis. Mm -hmm. However, I have lived long enough to see people who has or who have two or three jobs yes, yes, yes. still struggle. Yes. Because you are using human methods yes. to try to fight a spiritual battle. Yes. You think the issue is your finances, so you get a job at this place and you get a job at that place and you are wearing yourself out and I don't care how many jobs you have, you'll find yourself still in a financial bond because you are using human methods to find a spiritual. I feel like running all over. Although we live in the world, although we are in this flesh, we do not fight using human methods. Couples who are having marital problems think that if they can spend more quality time with their spouse and have a little more sex, if you will, with their spouse, that would save or solve their problem. Mm -hmm. Jesus. However, I have lived long enough. <laughs> the 
tell you that's not always the solution. Let me get a little bit, bring it a little bit home. Some people are on the edge of a mental breakdown. And they think if they can just take a vacation and get away, when they return, all of their problems would disappear. That's not the case. Guess what? I have lived long enough. Yeah. And I know from experience yeah. that you can take a week vacation, yeah. a seven day vacation, yeah. return to work that yeah. following yeah. Monday, and after five o'clock you feel like you haven't been nowhere yeah. because you are trying to use human methods. Yeah. Oh, come on somebody. Yeah. To fight a spiritual. Our weapons that we fight when assert human 
Uh -oh. Our weapons uh, when we fight aren't human, excuse me. Yes, uh -huh. But instead, they are powered by God, the destruction of fortress. Amen. Stop right there. The destruction of fortress. Let me deal with this. The other John said, Pastor, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> like <you were> saying. <laughs> let me deal with this. Let me deal with this a little bit. Our weapons that we fight aren't human, but instead they are powered by God. Yes. Uh -huh. What kind of weapons do you have? All right. Mm -hmm. That's the question. Are you praying? Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes. If you don't pray, you are losing a weapon. Mm -hmm. God, my God. Mm -hmm. Don't you know when you pray, and I'm not talking about this kind of prayer, that now I lay me down. You to say that. That. That's right. Malachi don't, and, and, and Junior don't even pray that kind of prayer. That's a beginner prayer. Yes. Yes. But when you pray, you just have a little talk with Jesus. Uh -huh. yes. Tell him all about your trouble. Yes. Yes. He'll hear your famous cry yes. and after you bow by, you really tell God how you feel. You tell God what you need. That's prayer, y'all. Yes. Yes. And allow God to talk back to you. Yes. That's, the, that's the second part. Yes. yes. Another weapon is the word of God. Uh -huh. yes. I'm just giving you a few. My God. Yes. And another weapon that many people don't teach, many churches don't teach, but I still teach it and I believe it is fasting. Yes. Yes. I, I didn't say dieting. <laughs> I said fasting. Yes. Turning down your plate. Yes. Getting down on your face. Yes. Woo, and watch God give you power. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you are sick, just fast. Yeah. Before most doctors give blood work, they tell you to fast uh -huh. because they really want to see what's going on. Am I right, Elder yeah. Jones? As it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. Yeah. When you fast and turn down your plate, God will reveal to you what's really going on. See, you don't know what's going on because you eat too much. Yeah. It's still eating. Yeah. You're depressed and still eating. Yeah. But something's going to come out by fasting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now the destruction of fortress. One translation. Go back to King James Version of verse number four. says, They are mighty through God to pulling down of Stronghold. Yes. Fortress stronghold. Yes. Synonyms. The same thing. Yes. Stronghold. stronghold. Yes. My topic is the destruction the of stronghold. stronghold. Yes. Yes. Fortress and strongholds are yes. synonyms. Yes. They're the same thing. Let me deal with strongholds. Uh -huh. What is a stronghold, Sister Jackie? Mm -hmm. This is my definition. A stronghold is a negative, mm. destructive pattern of thinking mm -hmm. Come on. Wow. Mm -hmm. used by Satan mm -hmm. to illegitimately hold a person yeah. in spiritual bondage. Mm -hmm. Don't move that definition. Mm -hmm. What is a stronghold? Yes. Yes. Stronghold deals with the way you think. Yeah. 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 God, my God. Say that. Years ago when I used to preach this text, and I've preached it many times, Mother Norman, I, I would preach it from a standpoint that I used to think that Satan would feel so to just have a hold on you. And, 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 and I really didn't get down to the root of it. The root of stronghold is your mind. Your mind. Your mind. Some people still around there because I want you to get this. A stronghold deals with the way you think. Come on, Come on. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. God, the God. devil got a stronghold on some of you My God. because he gave you a negative thought pattern. Yes, yes, yes. And you trying to break out of your finances, but your mind has a stronghold. Yes. Oh my God. Amen. 
Teaching. Let's look at this. Go, go, go to the common English version. Y'all being blessed. Yes, Y'all all right? Yes, yes. Elder Jones began with they destroy. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> they destroy arguments. Arguments. Uh oh. <laughs> Do you know what the argument began with? A story in your mind. In your mind. Yes, sir. When you want to argue with somebody, you get your thoughts together. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Again. I'm going to tell ladies to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm always like that. Oh, conversation. I have a conversation all in my head. <laughs> and when she walk in, I forget the conversation that I have had in my head. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because the deal, it starts with your mind. Next verse. Somebody shout arguments. Arguments. Little, little strongholds, negative, um, destructive pattern of thinking. Yeah. Look, look at the wording of this. Next word, I mean, next, Elder Jones. And every defense that is raised up to oppose the knowledge of God. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge deal with facts yeah. in your mind. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Stronghold, fortress, is a, it, it's a negative thought pattern. And they list key words to show you that this thing starts with your mind. Yeah. Uh oh. They capture every thought. Every thought. My God. That's your mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To make it obedient to Christ. You can stop right there. Hmm. Arguments, knowledge, and thought yes. deals with your mind. Yes. yes. The enemy. Wants to deal with your, the battle starts in your mind. Yes. Your mind is something spiritual, y'all. Mm. Amen. My God, say that. So let's get the mind right because the enemy has a stronghold on it. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Truly. I'm going to tell you how the sermon was birthed and I'm moving on. How the sermon was birthed, not this week, a little bit this week, but really the last two weeks. My mind, I couldn't get my thought pattern right. Say that, say that. Mm -hmm. it, it seemed like I could not just gather my thoughts. Mm -hmm. My God. I would tell a lady to see something, and she'll say, Do you remember when you said that? I said, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Jada is my assistant for summer camp. She would say, Mr. Coles, you said this. And I said, I I don't know. Because <laughs> my mind was just everywhere. Yeah. All, over place. Yes. All over the place. Thinking about church. Mm -hmm. Thinking about work. Yeah. Come on, that's enough. Yeah. Think about Lady C. Yeah. What we're going to do. Think about that. And my mind was just. Y'all yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah. That your mind can be everywhere that you can't focus yeah. on. Yeah. And, and, and the most scary part when I really realized this, Tom, yes, yes, yes. is when we went on vacation and we went to Animal Kingdom and, and, and we did many rides. And I was driving the van and the family was talking about, oh, how fun they had at Animal Kingdom. And the guy started talking about a particular ride. Mm -hmm. And I said, what ride y'all talking about? Lady C said, hey, you don't remember that ride the same day. Mm. Wow. Jesus. I said, I don't remember that ride. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Jackie said, the Ravens, you don't remember that ride? I said, no. Mm. And I started laughing because I laughed at all, but I got a little nervous about it. Amen. Oh, Amen. Because I said, God, what's going oh, on? Yes. 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 Are y'all with me? Yes. 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 And I want to have a short term memory that too. I, I, I bind it up. What's going on? And God said, I'm allowing you to feel what my people are going through. Jesus! Oh my God, my God, my God. Amen. Jesus. There's some of your mind. Uh -huh. Woo! If you can't gather, you don't even know what tomorrow is. Amen. Mm -hmm. I was telling lady, see this the other week. I said, I, we kept on saying vacation Bible school is next week. Next week. And I was saying it, but it wasn't rushing in my head. Right. Mm -hmm. And I realized that this is a spiritual 
spiritual battle. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. 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 That the enemy wants to keep a strong yes. 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 on your mind. Yes. I was texting Elder Johnson, I was revealing to her what God was showing me in the spirit that some of us, and some of, I put all of us in the boat, you can't stay focused. Yes. 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 You forget what you did with your keys. I'm sorry, I got to make something. You forget what you did with your keys and you think it's the doctor diagnosis, but God said that is something Jesus. spiritual. Yes. 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 If the enemy can control the way you yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. He got you. Go back to stronghold, my definition of stronghold. Wow. Mm -hmm. A stronghold is a negative, yes. destructive pattern wow. of thinking. Yes. 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 And it's in the mind. The yes. battle is in yes. the mind. As a man thinketh, yes. so is he. Yes. So is he. So if the doctor tells you you got cancer and you begin to think that you got cancer, you will begin to live a defeated life. That's why some people don't want to go to the doctor because once they hear the diagnosis, they start living according to what the doctor says. So you fight in this battle. Because you think it's on your job and your family, and the devil says, That's all right, I'm gonna still get them because they don't understand that the stronghold is in the mind. Yes, 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 sir. You teach it, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. It's shut it in the most high. Thank you, Lord. God wants to deal with your mind. Yes. Uh -huh. You think people are after you and nobody's thinking about you. No. <laughs> but that's the enemy. That's the enemy. You're going to die soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, He's sir. not going to make it. Yes, sir. He put those things, yeah. thoughts in your head. Yeah. You got cancer. You got diabetes. Yeah. Oh, you'll never have children. You'll never make it out of this. And that's the devil putting a negative, destructive yeah. thought pattern in your mind yeah. so it can keep you in an illegitimately stronghold. Yeah. 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 That you cannot break out of the way that you think. My Lord. Yeah. We use this in a net a positive way, but let's think about the flip side of that. As a man thinking, and as the devil can control your thoughts, you will become exactly the thoughts he put in your mind. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's a yes. oh my that's a strong post. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna be on this job always. Nobody gonna marry me. I'm not worth anything. Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Y'all all right? Yes. yes. Am I preaching to anybody? Yes. 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 How does Satan build oh his stronghold? Mm -hmm. Come on now. I want to, I don't have these scriptures up here, but let's go back. Ho hopefully you can think about this if you don't know this. Let's go to the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. When God created Adam and Eve, there was a flow from heaven to earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. God was just communicating with them. Yes. No stronghold. No stronghold. God would speak. Adam and Eve were here. Yes. I mean, it was just a flow. Just like you hear me. Yes. It was just a flow. It was yes. just a flow. But Satan showed up. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At first, <laughs> don't forget, God told Adam. You don't eat of that tree. Mm -hmm. And the day you eat of that tree, you should surely die. Yeah. But Satan came. Mm -hmm. Approach Eve. Yeah. And this is how he began to build a fortress or a stronghold. Mm -hmm. He began to tell a lie. Yes, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. God, God, the serpent, told Eve, and remember, this is Satan talking to a snake. Telling Eve a lie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Saying the first thing, oh, oh, you can eat of that tree. Uh -huh. You can eat of that tree. You're not going to die. Mm -hmm. That's a brick. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. Building a stronghold. Mm -hmm. He told another lie. Mm -hmm. 
You, you know, the reason he don't want you to eat up that tree, because he know you'll be just like him. Mm -hmm. That's another lie. Yeah. Every time the enemy tells you a lie, he's putting a brick. Yes. He's building his stronghold brick by brick. Yes. Brick by brick. Yeah. Brick by brick. Yeah. Brick by brick. And after a while, when God speaks to you, mm. you won't hear him. Because the stronghold. Say that. Mm. Has been built. Yes. Yes. Every time Satan tells you a lie, he's the father of lies. Yes. John 844. Yes. Let's read this. John 844, Elder Jones. You belong to your father, the devil, <laughs> and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding the truth. For there is no truth in him. Anytime Satan talks to you, mm -hmm. he's telling you a lie. Yes, yeah. he, is. Yes, he, he is. may use something that sounds like the truth. Come on, yeah. man. But he would take words out of yeah. I wish I had the time to show you how, how God, how Satan, excuse me, twists those words yeah. with you. Because he, he knows the truth, but he's going to twist the truth. Yeah. Yeah. It's no truth in Satan. No truth. Yeah. Yeah. Read, <laughs> when he lies, he speaks his native language. Ooh. For he is a liar and the father of lies. <laughs> What's the devil speaking to you? Lies. Every negative thing, every negative thought in your mind is a lie. It's a lie. Amen. Yes. Now, Satan used a snake to talk to Eve. Yes, sir. I'm going to show you something else. I preached about this not too long ago. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Matthew, I believe, chapter number 16, I believe. Uh, yes, verse 22 through 23. Elder Jones, read this for me, if you will. From that time, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed on the third day, but raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said, this shall never happen to you. Stop. So it was part of, go back, it was part of God's purpose to send Jesus so he may die for our sins. Yeah, right. And Jesus said, I must go through Jerusalem. I need to go to Jerusalem because yeah. he know that he had to die for yeah. his sin. Yeah. And when he told that to his disciples, Peter said, never. No. No. You, you don't have to go through Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. go, to verse, go to the next verse. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. Uh -huh. you, are, you are a stumbling block to me. Yeah. You do not have in mind the Ooh. concerns of God, but merely human concerns. You don't have in mind. All right. Peter, that is your mouth. Yes. Yes. But those are Satan's words. Satan's words. Yes. 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 Satan will use anybody. Yes. Yes. Your mama, mm -hmm. your daddy, your sister, your brother, your co-worker, a friend, a post on Facebook, say it with you. Anybody that's used the speaker to get to your mind. So when God tells you something, and I know you love your sister, I know you love your family, but you got to identify, say that using you, mama. You'll never make it stronghold. Mm -hmm. You'll never get out of this brick yeah. by brick yes. by brick by brick by brick, and you do not have in mind. Mm. Right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Because it starts with your mind, y'all. Yes. 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 You don't have in mind. The concerns of God, but humanly, or merely human concerns. This is a mind. So anytime Satan, I'm dealing with the frame. Yes. Anytime Satan builds or tells you a lie, you'll never be healed. Mm -hmm. You'll never be delivered. Yes. You'll never be set free. Mm -hmm. You'll die tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You'll die in your situation. Jeez. That's a negative yes. thought pattern, yes. a negative yes. thing yes. that he has put on you that keep you in a stronghold. Yes. He's, he's laying brick by brick by brick yes. by brick by brick. And after a while, you'll realize that you're a double-minded person. Yeah. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Because let's say we put a strong brick, that I build some bricks right here. This sanctuary, let's think about it. This sanctuary is your mind. Mm -hmm. This is your mind. All of this is your mind. All of this is your mind. And every time Satan tells you a lie, he's building a stronghold. Yes. And let's say that he builds a stronghold from the floor to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. This is your mind now. Okay. Look at it. Now you have a double mind. This side, brick. This side, yeah. you double mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. One side of your mind is negative, mm -hmm. the other side of your mind is positive. Yeah. You are a double minded yeah. person. Yeah. And that's what Satan has done. He done told you so many lies that he laid a, uh, a build a stronghold in Ooh. your mind that you double minded. Amen. Are y'all with me? Yes. Yes. And let me tell you, show you something about a double-minded person. Uh -huh. James 1, 6 through 8, Elder Jones. <laughs> but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossing. Okay. For let that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yeah, yeah. Go back. Because they didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> the devil done told you so many lies. Uh -huh. Done put so many thoughts in your head that uh -huh. he has built a stronghold. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you praying and you're not receiving anything. Not receiving. And you wonder why. Because you double minded. Mm -hmm. And devil is talking on your left shoulder. Mm -hmm. And God is speaking on your right shoulder. Mm -hmm. And God said if you are double minded. Mm -hmm. You will not receive anything mm -hmm. from the Lord. Mm -hmm. No matter how hard you pray. Mm -hmm. You got to deal with this mind. Mm -hmm. Get those thoughts out of your mind. Mm -hmm. That's 
your mind. Yeah. I'm telling you God's word. I'm telling you what God can do. Yeah. And you on the pastor down the wrong side. And you hear this information. It's on the outside of your mind. But, but now it's a stronghold and it can't get to the other side of your mind. Yeah, say that, say that, say that. Jesus, Jesus. Because Satan put all kind of thoughts in your mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not going to make it. You always gonna be in this situation. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like this. On Sunday, you hear the word yeah. that's on one side of the room. Yeah. But on Monday, you sit down in your living room and think of things, think of things, yeah. think of things, yeah. negative yeah. things. Yeah. While you're driving down the road, I'm not gonna make it out of this. That's negative thing, negative thing. And you praying to God, and God said, I can't give you anything until we remove the shrimp. Verse number six, Elder Jones, let's go. Verse number six. Go to the King James Version, 2 Corinthians 10, 6. Though we, right there. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience, when your obedience is fulfilled. When your obedience is fulfilled, one translation says when your obedience is, is complete. Let's see what the common English Bible puts. How it puts that verse number six. I might like that a little bit better to bring this on home. Yeah. Let's read this, Elder. <laughs> Once your obedience is complete, we are ready to punish any disobedience. Let me tell you. Remember now in Jericho, evil was happening in Jericho. Mm -hmm. They had a fortress, a stronghold around Jericho, but God's children was around on the other side of the walls of Jericho. Yeah. But God gave them a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only way you don't destroy this stronghold, you got to get the word of God. Yeah. And God told Joshua and the Israelites, you know the story, yeah. march around the city once, one time for six days. But on that seventh day, I want you to take that ark of the covenant and the priest, and I want you to go around that stronghold seven times. Their obedience wouldn't have been complete. Right. Oh my God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If they would have gave up on the seventh round, their obedience would not have been complete. Yes. Because, but since they obeyed the word of the Lord, yes, yes, yes. My God, my God, my God. God said, I want Jesus. you to go around it seven times. Yes. Yes. One. But say, but, 
By Jesus Christ's stripes, I leave. And I walk in my healing. I walk in my healing. I walk in my healing. Look how I did it. I took the doctor's report, but I said, but. Because that but canceled out the doctor's report. wilderness to be tempted of the devil the devil came to Jesus put all kind of thoughts in Jesus mind yes. but Jesus said but it is written and those strongholds Place always. 
waves. You coming out of this. You coming out of this is what we are. You coming out of this. When the devil started playing with my mind that I couldn't think, I laid down in that bed and I started in, I started in warfare. And I told my mind, you're going to line up with the word. My hands are blessed. Anything that I touch is blessed. My children will be saved. Get that devil out of your mind. You won't stay where you are. I don't care what the doctor said, what God said. Who's the point where you believe? Y'all don't believe me today. Y'all don't believe me today. I don't stand there. Nobody loves you. That's the devil. Nobody wants you. 
That's the devil. You gonna die. That's the devil. You gonna always be in this financial behind. That's the devil. That's the devil. That's the devil. And when you get home, when you open up that house, open up your door, you tell that devil to get out of your house. Tell him get out of your bedroom. Tell that devil to get away from your kitchen table. Let him stop him from talking to you. Don't you know how many times your pastor been in depression? I mean, I've been feeling depression so many times. About, about four or five years ago, I was in depression. It seemed like every day. And the only person that knew something about it was Jeremy. I said, Jeremy, and I feel like dying. I feel like the devil don't kill me. But it's something in my inner man that stood up in me. Three years later, something in my inner man stood up with me. And I told that devil, he is a lie. that I want you to get that same bonus. Nobody don't want me. That was a lie. I never have money. That was a lie. You tell that devil he is a lie. He, if you can't think of no scripture, say, devil, you are the father of lies. You are a lie. And what you do when the devil puts something in your mind? Don't you call nobody and say, I've been thinking about this, the devil been playing about me. You entertaining the devil. Once the devil puts something in your mind, you pull it down, don't tell nobody. If you tell anybody, you speak life to your situation. Don't say, I'm sick, but I don't want to hear no sad story. Say you heal. Say you deliver. Say you set free. I've seen the time you start with that sorry story. Entertaining the devil. You destroy that stronghold. I want to pray for somebody mind today. Come. If this word is for you, I'm gonna lay hands on you. I'm gonna tell you first what I'm gonna do. If you don't want me to lay your hands on you, you stay here, you see. But I want to pull some of y'all mind out. That's a stronghold on some of y'all. 